Hey guys, what's going on? Almost Unreal here. So, got a little news. Um, we've got the drop of the schedule, uh, especially some uh, massive Diablo uh, information. Um, and basically it's telling us it's probably going to be pretty good uh, for Diablo this year. Now, it could just be Diablo 4. Um, but then actually something else popped up uh, that was kind of pretty amazing and i'm gonna actually just jump to that real quick uh so curse of tristram was a starcraft 2 uh mod basically that a gentleman was trying to basically use starcraft 2 use the engine to make a remake uh for diablo 2 and basically released it in its unfinished form but wanted to release it and kind of show what you know he has kind of done uh, and as you can see here, this is basically getting down to Ndarial. And, I mean, it looks really good. Uh, it, it's it's definitely StarCraft II engine. It's not absolutely, you know, this gen. You can definitely tell. But, I mean, it, it kind of is pretty true to, like, what it's supposed to look like. I mean, it's a Blizzard Sorceress. Looks really good. Um, I must say the UI looks pretty... Uh, pretty awesome i must admit uh and Daryl, that's a pretty wicked looking uh model i mean all in all really really good and basically uh the reason that i would even bring this up is that as you can see down here <clears throat> is that basically with the upcoming diablo 2 resurrected announcement in a couple of days by blizzard we decided to polish and release an unfinished version of the curse of Tri tristam to the public on battle.net this weekend, uh, February 12th, 2021, this version is def is uh, definitive and final and includes everything we made so far. So basically, they're throwing this out there because they really have that feeling that, okay, we are going to be putting out, they're going to be putting out something of the nature of Diablo 2. Pretty awesome. And I will leave a link to this if you guys definitely want to check it out. Um, has a lot of information. And even if you want to just check it out just to see this kind of new models and stuff like that because i mean it looks really good um other than that let's go back to the schedule so as you can see here basically they have multiple channels for blizzard uh you pay into it you can either most uh, i have never actually paid into it i'm not a huge uh into watching it online um so my gist and what i've actually learned is that basically they have multiple channels that you can watch um, different aspects of their IPs. World of Warcraft, Hearthstone, Diablo, Overwatch, blah. So, uh, in tail, as you can see, so on the 19th, on Friday, that's coming up. Uh, yeah, it is coming up. <laughs> I'm like, what day is it today? Is it the 12th? Uh, so, yeah, on their main channel, they're going to have a deep dive and they're going to have basically a rebroadcast. And most likely that's going to be the Diablo What's Next. Um, so they're bringing that in here to basically say, Hey, this is what's going on. Um, I think most likely this is going to be a Diablo four, pretty much a little bit of teaser, um, more Diablo two. And then their deep dive is going to be on, uh, a little bit of Diablo four and a deeper dive. I would say most likely into the remake now hopefully they're not doing anything that's actually going to really change anything for the modding community as i've said before um hopefully it's just a reskin like starcraft remake was um i don't want like the reforge situation happening again but we know you know they've let go of all those people um basically moved on um and correction, they haven't let them go. They basically, they took them off the project. And they're no longer doing those remasters and remakes and so on and so on. And I'm and it looks like without staunch information from inside of Blizzard, which we just don't have yet, <clears throat> that uh, Vicarious Visions is basically going to be uh, the mainstay for that. Um, but it's pretty interesting because this is basically what they're they're hinting at. Of course, they're going to do a, you know, what's next for World of Warcraft. Uh, it's still one of their 
what they're bringing in. Uh, I don't even know if they're going to be doing like a StarCraft 3 or anything like that. There's nothing in that being even said. Um, but the funny thing is, is that you're going into Saturday. And as you can see here, <clears throat> they're still doing Diablo. They're doing a Diablo Q&A. Um, in the Blizzard main channel, they're doing, of course, showcases uh, with their respective IPs. Uh, and then basically the cr critical role Diablo campaign. So kind of awesome. And then they're going to go with artists and the work. Uh, finishing out for the next day so pretty awesome um if you kind of look even at the other world of warcraft and uh hearthstone and, and so on and so on i mean streamer showdown awesome uh the evolution of thrall kind of one of those things like okay so where are they going with world of warcraft um but really here the artists you know the artistry and stuff like that that's kind of it's kind of telling me something that it's going to be, this is going to probably be the day of Diablo 4 and not Diablo 2. And they're really going to do um, more stuff like that. So, to me, pretty awesome. Um, <clears throat> I'm just, you know, happy to see that Diablo 2 is kind of getting that that uh, that shine. Maybe this is the year. Hopefully we don't get, uh, do you guys have cell phones? Um they do have the that's one of the things that I, I am worried about is they do have the situation where you're looking at are they going to do Diablo Immortal are they going to showcase that are they going to do that with a lot of this are they going to add any of that I hope they don't do any of that I hope really it just comes down to Diablo 2 and Diablo 4 um and that's it but it could just be Diablo 4 and we're getting hyped for nothing and they don't have anything right now for the information of Diablo 2 people are just assuming um, but somebody that's been on a project and modding and kind of stuff like that and really emphasizing that there's a, uh, Diablo 2 in the works, <clears throat> pretty awesome. So, uh, that's it for basically for Blizzard for me is uh, hopefully that's what they do. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And then lastly, unfortunately we have a little bit of information on CD Projekt Red, basically their files a couple of days ago, and they even uh, posted on their Twitter, um, where basically they were uh, ransomware. Um, they have, you know, personal files, personal information, uh, files on games, on games that haven't been released, um, all that kind of stuff. Even like side DLCs, they have everything. <clears throat> and what they wanted to do is basically, you know, hey, pay us out this much money and we won't leak to the, to the internet and so on and so forth. Uh, CD Projekt Red put it on their Twitter. You know, of course, they're probably doing everything they can to find out who these people are. Um, all in all, not a good, not a good look. Uh, not for them, but basically, <clears throat> this is what's going to happen and it sucks and... What really sucks is, is the fact that CD Projekt Red is, I believe, is still a respected company. I understand that Cyberpunk uh, did not do uh, as well as it should, especially with the expectations of such a great company that did, you know, Witcher 3 and so on and so forth. But for me, it kind of sucks because I would rather this not have happened. Duh. But the reason... I don't want it to happen is because I believe that they can easily put out more uh, and better content for uh, Cyberpunk. And for me, I played it a little bit. I had a lot of fun, but I kept getting stuck in one of my main quests. <clears throat> Couldn't do anything. Uh, had to restart it, played it again, got stuck. And I was like, you know what? I'll wait. I'll wait for it to actually be corrected, fixed. And, you know, I don't have a skimpy computer. I mean, I don't have a 3080. But, uh... It's one of those things where, you know, I can easily play the game. Didn't have a lot. Didn't have any graphical issues. It just got stuck because of coding or something like that. That that happens, <clears throat> especially a game this kind of scale and this kind of you know what they were trying to put into it. And in my opinion, basically CD Projekt Red had issues trying to put it on multiple consoles. Trying to put it, you know, and then also backdating it and putting on uh, PlayStation 4 and Xbox. Just, you know, they should have stuck with this gen. They should have stuck with PC because I think that would have easily, 
easily put out enough numbers that they didn't have to have all the slew of stuff that happened. And I don't know if the, the reason that they wanted to do this ransomware on them is because of maybe the situation of how it rolled out. It just sucks. All around sucks because I feel like there's not going to be a Witcher 4. There's not going to be all these other things that are going to be coming out as easily as they could have maybe with some of the information that might be leaked. Um, because they do have like DLCs and stuff that they scrapped or they didn't put out there or basically, you know, the unedited stuff that they were like, well, this isn't really going to be fit for the game. So we're not going to do that for like Witcher and, uh, you know, cyberpunk. And now they have to deal with this instead of repairing or fixing any of the cyberpunk stuff. All in all, just not good. Um, but I'll definitely leave a link of this in there <clears throat> in the description. And Hopefully, you know, everything gets a loot and, you know, the projections of this doesn't really screw up their, their work too much, but it could happen. But anyways, guys, uh, I'm really excited for Diablo 2. I think that's going to be, I mean, it's just, it's more and more things are pointing to it that this is going to be the, this is going to be the year that it's actually going to be really, really good. Uh, but let's just hope. So anyways, it's been unreal. I'll catch you later.